Hey, horror fans, once again, it is me, the Horror Mimes of Mighty G. Now, it's one, two, day two for a, <laughs> for a wild day week, and this time we're going to review the movie House of Salem. <laughs> now, House of Salem is a 2016 British horror film. It was written and directed by James Crow. He also produced this one as well. Uh, this film stars Jessica Atherton. Jack Brett Anderson, Liam Kelly, and Leslie Mills. Now, for this particular one, a group of kidnappers become a child's unlikely protectors of discovering they have unwillingly been set up to take part in a satanic ritual. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you don't know who you're working for. Now, English writer and director James Crow, uh, he's done a lot of uh, independent films from a wide variety of genres uh mainly he's seen some work in Lionsgate and studio canal uh he's done a lot of independent film works here i believe he was the director writer of curse of the riching tree uh nightmare on 34th street and now we have this latest thing that's uh been released by wild eye releasing called the house of salem now again this is a very simple plot we see this group of kidnappers they go ahead and kidnap this kid named josh they go back into this house and we see them supposedly hold this boy up for ransom. But what they don't know is that the kid is a uh, was adopted by this people that are in this cult known as the House of Salem. And they want to perform this so-called ritual that will give them direct communications with Satan. Yes. <laughs> so once they find out what really is happening, they decide that they have to protect the kids. And that's basically what this film is about. Now, one of the good things I liked about this film is that we have some decent acting in here. I believe Jessica Anthony, who plays Nancy, sees the uh, one of the lead persons right there. I believe her and Liam Kelly, who plays the kid Josh, uh, they have a uh, great uh, chemistry together. Uh, they have great chemistry together. We see that Jessica. We see once we get a load of her backstory, we find out why she's with her so-called friend. I I can't remember the guy's name. Might have been Jacob. I think this was her uh, supposedly adopted father's name that's who he is uh, we also see that um, all the kidnappers they have their roles but I believe the film is carried mainly by Jessica Anthony's role as Nancy I think she does a great job right there uh, like I said they have great chemistry again that's what really pulls the film we get some okay effects right here as far as uh, obviously whatever budget they were working on they must not have a lot for practical effects because we really don't see any effects of the violin until after the um, after the thing, I think when we see when we see some violence uh, happen on the screen, it happens off screen, and after that we see the aftermath. I don't have a problem with that because hey, look, you you got to do what you got to do when you don't have the budget for it. I also like the fact that they do not hold back. Well, unfortunately, if uh, fortunately because they are the killing of children in this particular film, so if you have a problem with that, then I would not recommend it. But at least you know most of the time when I see a horror film when they don't. When they actually will kill a child, then you know they're really going on there. Like I said before, that's one of the things you have to be careful of because you won't actually see the violence, but they don't have a problem when they, uh, unfortunately, when they commit the acts of violence against children. Now, some scenes kind of drag a bit too long, so we do have some pacing uh, pacing issues. But I think James Crow did a pretty good job in the film. I have not seen any other films he's done, but for this one, this is okay. Like I said, some pacing issues, but like I said, good acting. You know, some great, you know, some okay practical effects, but some good acting, and I think that's really what holds together. So you know, I would give this film a watch if you have not seen this yet. So there you have it. That is my review of. House of Salem is once again playing on Tubi right now, as most as to most of these films from Wild Eye Release on Tubi. Uh, uh, if you did like this review, please give it a like, share, and because that'll help out with the YouTube algorithm here. And if you have seen this particular picture, please leave your comments in the comment section below and tell me what you thought about the film. Also, if you're new here, please hit that subscriber button and ring that notification bell. That way you'll be notified anytime when I put a new video such as this one. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror Miser Money G. And always remember that horror rules. Ha -ha. I'll see you in my next video. I'm out.